Hello, I'm Diane Newman, adult nurse practitioner. I've been practicing in urology since 1986. My practice is at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Today I want to introduce a bladder scan BVI 9400, a bladder volume instrument with neuroharmonics technology. The bladder scan is a key instrument in acute care. It provides medical and nursing staff with accurate bladder volume without causing patient-related complications like pain and infection from unnecessary catheterizations. As you may know, CMS will no longer pay for preventable events, including catheter-associated UTIs. The CDC guidelines have changed and now include portable ultrasound, so review your bundle for catheter-associated UTI prevention. Best practices for staff would be to add a portable ultrasound to help reduce the number of urinary catheterizations performed at your hospital. It's also an important instrument to have in primary care practices so the physician can determine the amount of urine in the bladder in patients who are at risk for urinary retention. In both these settings, the bladder scan tells the staff the amount of urine in the bladder without instrumentation and complications that can occur from catheterization. The bladder scan BVI 9400 is a battery operated portable instrument that has a color display console. It also has an ultrasound probe that scans the patient's bladder and needs to be wiped with alcohol between patients. And this is the button that is pressed to perform the scan. The bladder scan has a combination battery, charger, and wireless hub. It comes with a manual and I recommend you review it before you use the device. Also, before using the bladder scan, personalize the instrument with the name of your practice and the correct time and date, as this information will be shown on all printouts. Check to make sure the battery is charged and there is enough paper in the printer before you start to scan a patient. To scan a child under 48 inches, 122 centimeters tall, and weighing less than 60 pounds or 27 kilograms, select the small child mode. If the patient is being scanned for post void residual or PVR determination, it is important that the patient urinate before doing the test. Explain to the patient the bladder scan procedure and the reason for measuring bladder volume. Have the patient lie in the supine position, flat, with head elevated on a pillow. Now this is how I prepare the patient before I perform the scan. You want to palpate the patient's pubic bone. The bladder is right behind the pubic bone, so you want to palpate that bone. You take your ultrasound gel and place a generous quantity of gel midline on the patient's lower abdomen, about one inch or three centimeters above the pubic bone. Standing alongside the patient's right side, place the probe on the gel and aim downward behind the pubic bone towards the expected location of the bladder. Press and release the scan button located on the underside of the probe. When you hear a beep, the scan is complete and a bladder volume measurement is displayed on the console. You know the aim is accurate when you see all eight arrows are flashing on the probe and the bladder image is centered in the crosshairs of the console's aiming icon. If the scan is off target, the arrows on the probe indicate the direction of the bladder. Look at the position of the probe, and using these arrows, re-aim the probe for a more accurate scan. A solid arrow means you are slightly off target. A flashing arrow means you are significantly off target. The console will confirm that the bladder is off target from the crosshairs. An arrow will point in the direction of the bladder. Note that the 12 o'clock position on the console target coincides with the orientation of the patient's head. You may also see a screen that indicates the pubic bone is inside the ultrasound cone. If this occurs, you may want to re-aim and re-scan. Although the bladder may be shown centered in the ultrasound cone and your measurement could be complete, there's a possibility that the pubic bone is obscuring some of the bladder. By re-aiming, you can ensure you have captured the bladder fully inside the ultrasound cone. When you have verified an accurate scan, the screen will display your results. Wipe the gel from the probe and from the patient. At this point, you may record a voice annotation to save your exam, print the exam result from the onboard printer, listen to previously recorded annotations or review data from saved exams. You can also return to the home screen and perform another scan or you can turn off the instrument. To recap, remember to have the patient urinate before scanning for a PVR, do not scan over a scar, do not scan over ascites. You may need to rock the probe with a patient with a large abdominal girth. 
The Bladder Scan BVI 9400 gives you the information you need quickly, accurately, non-invasively. It's that simple.